You ever see these cheap ass cans of Jack Mackerel in the store and wonder what to do with them? I make stew. Now this canned mackerel is some pretty nasty looking stuff, kind of like the canned salmon. So you want to get in here and drain off this here uh, nasty looking juice here. And you can eat all of this stuff here, the bones, the skin, all of that. But I don't like to, you know, I like to, to clean it up a little bit because I'm a sissy. I like to clean these spines out of here. I don't want to eat that. I don't even want to look at that. You know, I cleared off a little bit of the skin and bones off of it. Now I'm going to crumble it up. So the first thing we want to do with our ingredients is we want to saute up the vegetables. Now I'm going to use this big old pan here. You don't have to use a pot this big. But I like having a big pot, you know, so I got lots of room to work. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on a medium-high heat. Go ahead and throw a couple of uh, tablespoons of olive oil in there. So once your oil is heated up, just go ahead and uh, throw your onions and your celery in there. And we're going to saute them up here a little bit. Man, I love the smell of these vegetables cooking up here. So we got our vegetables saute in there. And I'm going to go ahead and throw in here a little bit of uh, tomato paste. And I usually start off a little bit more than half a can. We're going to stir it up a little bit in there with some sauteed vegetables. Then we're going to go ahead and throw it in some, uh, some stock. Now I got a little bit of vegetable stock here. But you can use chicken stock. And you can use water too. You don't have to use all of this vegetable stock. Because then it might be too, uh, too stock, you know, like me. We'll go ahead, go ahead and bring it up into a uh, high heat bring it to a boil. So we're bringing it to a boil and we're going to cover it and let it boil for two minutes. Let it boil for a couple of minutes. Cook up there get those flavors going. So I've been boiling here for a couple of minutes. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my mackerel. Got it all broken up here. I'm going to gently add it into the pot. Let it cook for a few minutes. Bring it back to a boil. Alright, we got everything and brought it back up to a boil again. We go ahead and reduce the temperature. And we're going to let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Got half a lemon here and I'm going to throw some lemon juice in here. You want to end up putting about 2 tablespoons of juice. So I got my little strainer so I don't end up with a bunch of seeds in there. Alright, while it's simmering, I'm going to go ahead and throw me in a little bit of red pepper here. Got me some uh, crushed red pepper flakes. I'm going to throw those in there as well. And you can experiment, you know, with how much you want to put in here. And just do it to taste, you know. If you like it uh, hot and spicy, throw a lot of it in there, you know. If you're making it for your grandma, you probably want to cut back on that. Throw in a little black pepper. I'm a pepper freak. All right, I'm going to throw a little bit of salt in there. Now, because I like it a little tangy, I'm going to throw in some, uh, some dried jalapeno pepper here, too. Just a little bit. Camera girl's frowning about that. But you got to trust me. What else can I put in here? I'm going to put in a little bit of parsley. Just for the hell of it. Parsley, I don't know, that's one of those things, it's just like something to do. And that's all there is to it. You know, let it cook up for a few minutes. Yeah, this is a great dish if you're on a tight budget, you know, if you're just a cheapskate like me. Got me a little bit of uh, brown rice here I cooked up. I'll go ahead and ladle some of this on here. There you go. Don't that look wholesome? Can Jack mackerel. Just keep some of it in your cabinets, you know. When you're ready, you know, you ain't got anything fresh in the fridge, you know, to whip up. Go ahead and give this stuff a try. How's my hair look? I got all Hollywood. You see, I got some new glasses. Bon Appetite! <laughs> I felt like a minstrel. Let me do that again. Bon Appetite! Alright, man, it really is fucking good.